Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. What might we see today, Stuart? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. And the match begins. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And Grant now. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Chance to play it in. Top class defending. Well, a goal to update you on. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Salford City. It was a nice one too, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. They've scored the opener here with only four minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Free kick awarded then by the referee. The cross is on. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Who can he pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive. And space to cross it. Well, not cleared away completely. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here.
Fox. Well, they've given him too much space. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Anthony O'Connor. Matty Daly. Diego Lainez. Luke Armstrong. Josh Falkingham. Matty Daly. And he takes it on. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. How far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Grant with it. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And an astute piece of defending. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches. And Alex Scott can fill us in. Yep, it was a penalty for Bradford City. It struck the ball and it went in. It's now 1-0 with 23 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Beautifully weighted ball. Will he finish? Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. Lainez. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Played into the centre. Harrogate Town doing well to regain possession. Can he put it away? And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here's another look and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Fox. Sam Hoskins. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Leonard. Must be. Oh, that's a fine save. And over it comes. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. Already closing him down here. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent. And they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Now can they win back possession and create something else? And the counter-attack is on, options available. That's useful play. Can he open them up here? A decisive clearance it was. Diego Lainez. He's got space. And making the move to the inside. This looks threatening. And a touch of finesse. Well, last line of defence, literally. Really good challenge. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Luke Armstrong. 
Well, visionary passing. So now a corner. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. And he's fired over the corner. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And so it is. The first half story has been rated. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game and attack. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas. And that's one of the reasons they're losing this. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Far from a good pass. Fox. Pierce. And the news confirmed before the game, Manchester City have finally got their man, Stuart. Well, the price tag of around £85 million shows just how highly they rate him. He's a huge talent, but with that sort of fee, he'll need to start really well. And offside here. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. And time for the change now. And clears his lines. Lainez. And the pass could do damage. And the problem not completely solved. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Played over. And a bit short with the clearance. Snuffing out of the cross there. Sowerby. Leonard. Josh Epia. Well, someone has scored in one of the other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. It's a goal for Colchester United. It was a low-driven Oh, cross. hang on, Alex. Big chance here. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And a substitution in the offing. And the short option preferred. A glorious chance. A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating.
Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, the situation has changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. Yet another goal for Carlisle. They've pulled one back with 66 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Well, we never like cutting off Alex, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons when things are happening. To clarify for you, the away side have been able to find the net and their lead as things stand is 2-0. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Plenty of support here. Defensive roadblock in the... And a penalty awarded, spot kick coming up. have been fluttering but he didn't show it a goal from the spot well as you can see the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him it's a strange one in the end The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Now someone has scored in one of the other matches. Let's find out exactly who. Alex Scott will tell us. It's another goal for Bradford City. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish that move off. They're now three ahead with 73 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Good tackle. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, when the fans want you to shoot, it's always tempting to do so, but maybe he'll think twice next time. Well, I think he was right to take it on, but he never looked in control of the shot. He just didn't set himself properly. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Jack Sowerby. And they've given him too much space. And played in. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Just ten minutes to go. Sutton. This might have potential. Can he take the chance? Able to get his body in the way. Sutton well I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games and Alex Scott can fill us in surely another goal the lead grows to four now a rampant display
Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and while it's certainly not a clean strike of the ball, he makes enough contact on it to beat the keeper. He won't care how it goes in, as long as it does. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, we've entered the final five minutes. Hoskins. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, apologies to Alex for having to cut her off when we did. Oh, in with a chance! A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they could add. Leonard now. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Threat over for now, it seems. Muldoon. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, good save. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And played short. Can he find the net? The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, Harrogate Town doing well to regain possession. We'd like to ask you some questions about the match. No further questions, thank you.